So this is 2014, the year of the horse in the Chinese lunar calendar. Um, I've just come across an article about a tradition in the Miao ethnic community in southern China. Um, there's a strong uh, presence of Miao people around provinces like Yunnan, Yunnan Guangxi. Um, and basically this report is about uh, horse fighting. Basically what happens in this activity is um, two stallions are forced to fight. Um, usually with a female horse or mare nearby sort of um, to provoke them I guess, to encourage them. But these animals are um, forced to really fight to uh, within a very, uh, very bloody climax. Sometimes it results in death. Um, sometimes it uh, results in the animal having to be put down. I just quote directly here from uh, a site called uh, ST Asia. I think it's the Straight Times. Um, Hooves clash in midair. A stallion bites his opponent while delighted spectators cheer wildly. In southern China, some saw in the year of the horse by watching the animals fight. For the residents of Tantu, a remote village in Guangxi region, the 500 year old tradition that pits male horses against each other in a fight over a female was the uh, only way to kick off the Lunar New Year. Without horse fighting, it wouldn't feel like a new year, said Mr. Pan Jianming whose horse Little Black reared up on its hind legs and bit its opponent's neck to scoop victory in the competition this weekend. Okay, um, put a link to that article. Um, I often speak out human rights issues and all will continue to do so. Um, but there's cases like this where there's just such blatant cruelty involved um, that I think it's... Um, you have to be a pretty cold person not to see it. You'd have to be a pretty callous uh, or ignorant person not to see that there is something cr very, very cruel with this. And I'm not focusing solely on China here. I'm just using this as an example. The exact same applies to bullfighting in Spain or Argentina, um, fox hunting in Britain, which is now banned, but the Tories want to bring it back. Um, basically, any sort of blood sport involving animals. Now, I remember a Chinese friend of mine explaining that uh, the reason boxing traditionally, I'm talking about human boxing here, didn't tradition have a big appeal in China is because it was seen as violent. Um, but that says something about human nature that if the Chinese mentality is uh, sort of to frown upon, for example, let's say you have two men having a fist fight over a, a woman, society would frown, frown upon that. Um, and they'd see it as thuggish and animalistic and um, sort of, they'd be arrested for public misconduct in China or any other country for that matter. Um, and especially if it was a really bloody fight, like a fight into the death over a female, um, some men would. Uh, but, the, but the point I'm making is that I doubt, very much doubt those villages would tolerate that with people, but they... They clearly see animals as um, disposable, in a sense. Or maybe the horse owners don't they don't want the animals to die because then they lose their position. But clearly there's um, a very callous, cruel attitude going on here. And there is this thing about hiding behind culture. Oh, well, it's a 500-year-old tradition. It's part of the Miao people's culture, so let's just let it continue. Um... But I rigidly, strongly, firmly believe that culture is not an excuse for such blatant acts of cruelty. If you take away horse fighting, it may um, frustrate these people because they don't get to see in the year of the horse by watching uh, a bloody fight to the death between two defenseless animals. Defenseless in the sense that they uh, can't... Uh, it's a controlled situation by people. Now, it's true that horses fight in the wild. You would have wild horses that would fight over a female naturally. But the difference here is these are people provoking the situation and getting entertainment out of blood dust. There is a huge difference between that and the wild. The wild is cruel. That's, that's obvious. But, and maybe this relates also to the recent um, debate over that zoo in Copenhagen and the giraffe being dissected despite 
many zoos around the world saying it would take it on. Now, I'm not saying the two situations are exactly the same, but there does seem to be a callousness in terms of animal um, welfare far too often. Um, in the case of Denmark, culture wasn't used as an excuse, but I believe in many circumstances culture is used as an excuse. It's used as an excuse in human rights violations, which is an abomination, but in this case it's being used to defend a frankly barbaric pr pr practice. Now, just because the Miao people are a minority, does that mean that their customs should be above criticism? Does it mean that they are somehow protected from critique? I, I don't think that should be the case at all. Um, China is a country that has, and I, I can say this because I've personally seen it, that has a very appalling record on animal welfare. Um, it, it's absolutely shocking. Now, it's true that animal welfare abuse takes place everywhere, but in China, there's pretty much no laws at all to um, prevent any sort of safeguard for animal welfare, except special animals like pandas. Um, for just about every other animal, it's um, there's a very cold-blooded mentality, frankly, within Chinese society. And before people accuse me of being racist, um, I'm not saying this applies to every Chinese person. No, I'm not. But it is something that is clearly a problem. Um, in China. And yes, it happens in other Asian countries, but it is a huge problem in China. Um, and this is just not a sport. It's it's barbaric. And it should not be tolerated. And I mean, I very much doubt anything's going to change because Xi Jinping and the Politburo have much bigger priorities. But it just shows how cruel human beings can be. Um, like I say, horses may fight in the wild. But the difference here is this is a, a set-up situation where people are encouraging it. Where they're, you know, in the wild they fight for territorialism. In this situation they're just fighting for humans' entertainment. That's the difference. So it's really, um, should be banned as far as I'm concerned, but culture isn't an excuse. And that applies to all cases. It's the same with, um, by the way, for those who think of being biased, I say exactly the same about fox hunting here in Britain. There are some in the countryside in the UK who would say, oh, fox hunting is an old tradition. That may be the case, but when it's a choice between um, cruelty, tradition, um, i.e. outlawing cruelty, outlawing cruelty must always, always come first, whether that refers to human rights or animal welfare. And frankly, if it offends people, that's their problem. If they're going to cling to something that is... Um, I don't know whether it's a lack of education or what, but you can't justify it with culture. It's a phony excuse. And then uh, one last point before I close off. It's not about Western standards either. This is a universal thing. I mean, in many Asian countries, um, there are traditions actually that um, believe in care for animals. Look at what Gandhi said in India. Uh, how a nation treats its animals is a reflection of that nation's moral fibre. I believe it was something along those lines. So um, this isn't just some sort of Western invention either. Culture's not an excuse.